Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here, bringing you another Asheron's Call quest walkthrough. Today I am going to be doing Apostate Finale. So I am here in the Direlands Gear Knight encampment. We are going to quickly flag for the quest by speaking with the Emissary of Asheron here, little glowy dude. And then we are going to start off by running to the Gear, uh, gear Hunter dungeon which is actually beyond the Direlands Gear Knight area. I'm just going to run through, but um, it's actually further to the north. So basically to get there, you just run north out of the camp. Um, the way this quest works is you're going to get a series of shards. The first shard is from the Gear Hunter dungeon, and then the second and the third one are in the Direlands Gear Knight dungeon, which is actually this hole in the ground right here. We're going to come back to this a couple of times. The shards open the portal to the next place so you can get the next shard and so on. We're going to actually do that three times until we have three shards. And then we're going to go into the final dungeon where we're going to fight the uh, apostate uh, leader and kill them for the fourth shard, which we're going to turn in for our rewards. So everything in this quest is in the Direlands Gear Knight area. Now, I did do a previous video on this area, but if you haven't seen that one, the way to get here, if you don't have the recall, is to go to Zarebudin, and there is an NPC standing next to a couple of gear knights. If you give them an MMD note, uh, they'll summon a portal directly to the camp. So, the recall is not that hard to get. It's only five uh, alternate currencies, which... I don't know if I actually have any on me. Yeah, it's these uh, ornate gear markers. So yeah, I'll actually maybe link that other video in the description to this video if you're interested. I went through some of the society quests that are out here, some of the kill tasks. Okay, so this is the Gear Hunter dungeon. There are actually a couple of quests that uh, go through this dungeon. Uh, the Adamar tasks go out of here, but basically we're just gonna go through it's linear to a certain point, and then there's going to be a four-way split. And at that four-way split, which this is the four-way split right here, we're going to go north, so the first left. And now it's linear again. And we're looking for a portal right here, the mysterious portal, which we're going to pop into. Now this dungeon is not linear, but at almost every split, you're gonna just go straight. This is the only one where there's a turn and you're gonna go left. So what we're looking for in these dungeon is an apostate nexus master. And that is who will drop the shard for you to use. So here's another split and we're just gonna keep going straight past it. These dungeons are filled with gear knights, and like these are like simulcrum, simulcra that are impersonating humans. I always thought that that was a cool concept. So here's some apostate Verindi. And here is the apostate Nexus Master that we are looking for. So we're gonna kill this. And we'll show you the shard. Now, typically the way that we run this quest on Levistra server is that someone, you know, for instance, myself, will do the legwork to get these shards, and then you can get everyone together, whoever wants to run it, and, you know, you can summon the portal for a group. All right, so with the first shard, this is the sparkling apostate shard. We're going to recall back to the Gear Knight area. And we're going to head to the Dialand's Gear Knight dungeon. So that's that hole in the ground that I pointed out to you earlier. So let me reset my coordinates. It's a pretty short run. It's only like 1.5 clicks. Uh, the Gear Knights are weak to acid typically, but then... Uh, 
once we get into the dungeon, it's mostly going to be Verindi and the final bosses of Verindi. So you might want to use like a Rinthe Tentacle weapon. Check out that video if you haven't already. That was a, a fun time where me and Above the Waves uh, two manned a quest that can support up to 20 people completing it. All right, so the first spot is just right here. You'll see these masks on the walls, and this basically indicates that you're at a spot where the shard could work, but there are some false ones. So this is the sparkling one. And you'll see after we just double click the shard in our inventory, and then this gateway appears and we're flagged and we can go in. This dungeon is pretty easy to navigate. You can go any direction and you'll eventually get to, you know, the end boss. It, it's not perfectly linear, but you can go any direction. So, um, I have found that I can get overwhelmed in this dungeon with Gear Knight, so I'm just going to clear a little bit so that I don't embarrass myself. And, you know, get killed by Gear Knights, which are way below my level and I'm still gonna die even being careful I don't know these guys hit me really hard I, I also am probably debuffed but yeah so I like to just this this one dungeon for whatever reason seems much more deadly than any of the other ones so I, I like to just kind of clear some of the gear knights before I get to the next apostate nexus master so it's gonna be the same thing where we're gonna kill this and then we will loot the second uh, apostate shard. My summon is out of energy. And if you use a summon while it's out of energy, it still counts the 45 seconds before you can use it again, which is really frustrating. I kind of wish it was just like a faster cooldown when it didn't summon, but summoning is kind of overpowered, so I get it. All right, so that's the second one. We're going to do the same thing again. Recall it to the Gear Knight camp. And we're actually coming right back to that same Direlands Gear Knight dungeon. Which is where everything from now on is going to be. So it's actually two clicks, 1.9 clicks. So this one is the Scintillating Apostate Shard. And we're going to go to a different portion of the Direlands Gear Knight dungeon. This dungeon also has quite a few quests in it. Again, there's the Adamar tasks and the different aspects of the Apostate Finale quest. There's um, some crates that you can pick up for like an MFK. Uh, sorry, a Mana Forge key. Uh, some other things like that that, you know, you know, if you want like titles or whatever else, you can run it. So for the second one... We're going to go right and then straight, and then we're going to immediately make another right. This doesn't have a map, as you can see, through Utility Belt. So if you need the map, it's your first couple of times. You can either follow somebody or, you know, I would recommend pulling it up on the wiki. They do have this dungeon mapped, which is nice. So at this intersection, we're going to go straight. And then this four-way split, we're going to go left. Now we're going to go right. And then in this room, the mask is a little hard to see. It's kind of on the ceiling, but we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to double click the scintillating apostate shard. It's going to open a gateway and we're going to pop in there. Uh, this dungeon is not linear but we're gonna go straight through this four-way and then i like to bear left here and then straight around and then this first left and down and around to the boss i think it's a pretty small dungeon if you do get lost you can eventually find your way but um, the directions are pretty simple so all right so we're gonna find the final apostate nexus master which we're gonna kill Or my summon is going to kill it anyway. 
and we're going to loot the last shard, the Shimmering Apostate Shard. I'm going to go back to the Gear Knight camp. I'm going to let everybody on the server know that um, we're running this, and then we'll gather the group, and then we'll head out from there. All right, so we are going to head back to the Dyerlands Gear Knight dungeon and head to the final part of this quest. We are going to be using the Shimmering Apostate Shard that we just got to open the final portal. Now there was one point where you could tie to this portal and either recall or summon it for everyone to run this quest, but that has since been fixed and I think it is now closer to how this quest was in retail. I still think there may be some differences. I think in retail when you repeated the quest, the rewards were different. But for now, they're very favorable for us. This quest rewards a ton of experience. Um, I think almost 40,000 luminance. And as you can see, even doing all of the hard work, it's not actually that hard. And if you're one of the people who's just tagging along, it's even easier. Um, so yeah, a really, really rewarding quest that, you know, I, I run every 20 hours <laughs> or, you know, however often I can. So we're basically going down the same route that we went for the previous uh, shard. We're just actually going to skip a step and we're going to go right to here and we're going to use the device. going to make sure that everybody gets in and then we're going to go in. Actually, I already did this for some other people who are ahead and have probably cleared out some of the dungeon, but you'll get to see at least part of it. So this is the final dungeon. Yeah, so this a lot of this has already been cleared out by uh, some other people on the server who I summoned the portal for previously, but this is normally filled with uh, Gear Knights and Verindi, Apostate Verindi. But uh, much easier when it's already cleared out for you. So you're going to jump down into this final pit and there's going to be the Apostate Grand Director who is going to have the rewards. So we're going to work on taking him out. Usually my summon just tears this apart. But we'll see who gets the kill. <laughs> I'm always interested in that when I'm doing this. It's actually funny, my my Tinker, who is also a two-handed combat guy, usually gets the, the final kill. But all right, Clav got it, so nice. All right, and that's it. Um, you just, there's gonna be a blue shard on this that we're gonna loot. I've got my shard. We're gonna go back to the Gear Knight Invasion Area Camp. I'm gonna remember to switch out my trinket. Just gonna hand Shard of the Apostate Grand Director's Broken Mask to the Emissary of Asheron. And we're gonna get our rewards, 37,000 luminates, 461 million experience, and six trade notes along with a apostate grand director's mask which is actually very good for a like you can do this quest at level 150 it's 150 plus so it's a triple epic mask for a level 150 is not bad and you also get a strength and mana forge key which is a three use mana forge key um yeah great great quest i definitely recommend running it every day 37k luminance on its own is totally worth it so yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Bye.